So Microsoft's Xbox's um, showcase 2020 just happened July. This is a um, our rea- not a reaction direct. It's more basically our thoughts of it. We uh, Chica Spring did this last time. So uh, today we've got Hassan with us as well. Yep. Um, he's got Hello. a cool background. Where was that from again? Demon Souls remake. Demon Souls yeah. remake. Isn't that the new uh, the PS5 game? Does. Yep. 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 It looks mad as well, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, let's start straight away with the two main games that I actually remember from this entire showcase, which is obviously the only things that sort of buzzing in my mind, Halo and Fable. Okay. Let's talk yeah. about Halo. Halo, for me, looked terrible because it was, for one, F- I know what they were trying to do. Like, they were trying to show you how expansive this is, but even if you look from a game dev side, when they did like a pull up of the camera, there was pop up on these trees and stuff. So I'm like, but this is to show off your Xbox Series X. You've got to make this game look like this is something I can play on next gen. It looked old. It looked the aliens didn't look really that cool. It just to me, it just wasn't impressive. Full stop. Like I'm not a I'm Halo player. It. Were you watching it on the live stream rather than the? Trip? I watched both. I watched. I went back and watched it because I thought you yeah. know, like let me give them a chance. Because I'm not an, even though I own all Sony machines. I'm not an Xbox hater. As the underdogs, yeah. I wanted them to do well, but it just doesn't look impressive. The game itself, really generic. I mean, I, had, I knew that um, it looks better if you watch it after because I think the resolution is like lower when it's yeah, yeah, yeah. streaming. Um, uh, having said that, I think. Uh, for the majority of the actual showcase, Halo was probably my favorite looking game and okay. the one that looked the most powerful. Um, and that's purely because, again, Halo is their mascot, right? Um, but where you're saying that it probably looks nothing different is probably because they took a lot of cues from Halo 3. Um, if you look at the actual, the way the, um, you know, like the, the, the guns and the way where they show the actual um what do you call it yeah. the new bar you know the way the weapons are and the, and the scoreboard and yeah. the energy and those cues are taken from Halo Three um so that's why it's a bit more simpler so that's why it reminds you a bit more of a traditional Halo game which for me I mean I'm 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 glad that they're going back to the roots because I like the Bungie style games rather than the actual free for free type of like movement that they do yeah. and um, what you think about the the pop-ups see i noticed that as well but also when we started off the game we actually said um demo so i don't know if they yeah. changed out or if they're gonna do like a grand you know yeah it could it could be like patch. i don't know the demo um, it could have been six months old they could be running it on the older i don't know it doesn't make uh much sense that yeah, but you're pop-ups, but... you're showcasing you're showcasing like halo infinite even if it's a demo you're going to be showcasing it at the best it can be right you're going to be trying to sell that. Like, the whole yeah. point of it right now, you need to sell that. But the issue is that if they're having pop-up issues, obviously they're going to fix that. But also, I think it puts it into better perspective when you say that they're trying to capture what they had on Halo 3. I don't really agree with Hassan on it. Like, it wasn't as impressive as I hoped it to be. I think it was too clean. I think the problem yeah. was... Yeah, that's it. That's it. No, no variety. Like even in the, like the foliage, like the trees, the ground. Even when the the buggy jumps and lands on the mud, you can yeah. put on you can put on an Uncharted Four, and they've got that Madagascar stage. That buggy's going through mud. The mud is splattering. It's super reflective. <laughs> so actually, it looks crazy. Played, good. I've actually played Uncharted Four, yeah, but I know like from the from what I saw of Halo, Uncharted Four. It looks immense. I mean, a lot of current gen, um, the, the the ending trail of current gen games are impressive if you think about it because they know. Yeah, but Uncharted Four came out when? When did Uncharted Four come out? P- PS3, or PS4. It came out early, didn't it? PS4, but it's early, and like yeah, obviously, Last early, of Us yeah. Two. Last of Us Two is their knockout game because that looks fucking phenomenal when you play it, but. Uncharted 4 is old, and just that buggy, My when I saw that buggy, my mind just jumped back to Uncharted 4's buggy, and I'm like, why do you look worse? <laughs> why? His armor looked brilliant. Um, 
I, I say the NPCs didn't look that good with their facial expressions, but the, oh, the hands were terrible. Is <laughs> sick. Um, you know, um, I remember the the you know that your weapons, some of the weapon that he changed into. Um, there was mm -hmm. this uh, one that shot like a red laser. Um, mm -hmm. I saw like the almost like the the recoil um, smoke coming off the gun. That looked pretty cool. That looked something different from previous Halo games. That looks like they're doing some sort of new thing. But I know what you mean about the actual level. It does look a lot more like a um, an Xbox One type of a game. You know, it's it's um. It's hard to say if they're going to take advantage of the new gen in two, at least maybe two years into it. That's yeah, I'm but saying that, like right off the bat, you've got a console coming out this year. Mm -hmm. What is your, for someone like me, what is your reason for me to buy that console? Why would I not just get an Xbox One if I know it's going to look the same? Go cheaper. I agree. Yeah. I agree has to showcase the hardware because it's rdna2 it's this prem you're having the creme de la creme chip with the graphics like if you're going to try and sell halo infinite and say you should pick it up, you should pick up the xbox because of halo infinite halo infinite has to be exponentially better than what it is because like you're saying it's an xbox one title or it's an xbox one x title it doesn't look better than that like when you look at it Disappointing. Like it's like right, yeah. no, Grab a similar game. Grab a similar game. You both you're both Destiny players, right? I yeah. played Destiny. I've Destiny, played Destiny, but I, um, I've played all the Halos as well. So I mean But I mean, the I, Destiny two, Destiny Two's got an expansion coming out, that was shown. That looks infinitely better than what Halo Infinite showed visually. Maybe the games yeah. are different when they play them, but yeah, visually yeah. that expansion looked Stunning compared to, but it's bungee, it's bungee, it's bungee in the element, isn't it? This is the difference. It's bungee in the element. Like if you are talking about them pushing Halo to the limits, I would honestly say that you would have to basically have the armor showing dings and bullet marks as you're going through. So as your armor gets damaged, you can see the damage visibly. You have the to aliens, the laser effects. weren't they not impressive to you? To me, it was just looked like really generic. Like no, because it's Halo. That's the problem. No, no. One oh, of the okay. I, I, thought, I thought the Halo um, looked very impressive, but say if I was to compare it to um, what was that game? Uh, PS 5s um, you know, Mate, that compare it to that, that animal game. What was that game again? Um, Ratchet and Clank. Okay, yeah. You yeah. know the way they did the actual um, gameplay of Ratchet and Clank, the way they were doing multiple enemies on the same screen and they were shooting multiple and you saw like explosions and you saw yeah, they're going changing. through such time and place. There was like yeah. a lot of things happening at the same time. Now when I saw that yeah. happening, that felt really arcadey. It felt very uh next gen. Whereas um this one it didn't have quite have that um that edge that I saw in Ratchet and Clank. So in that sense I can say yeah maybe it's probably looking more closer to a current gen system game but again i'm I'm sure once you actually play it on the system with you know its highest frame rate and its highest visuals setting and on a, on a 4k tv with hdr i think it's gonna look a lot like a lot more impressive than what we physically saw because i was watching it on my um 1080p tv so yeah. i was watching the live yeah. stream as well so it wasn't the best uh visually why would not i just get a pc one then if you're saying, like, wait for it to be on his bare spec. No, no, then... I was watching it or maybe on a 1080 t TV. No, so your I'm point sure is right. Look better when I watch it on my 4K TV. Um, I watched it on the 4K TV. I watched it on the 4K yeah. TV. To be honest with you. About, it was I, I find it, I find that it looks really uh, good. Um, other no. than the trees popping in and stuff like that, I find it, look, I find it looks really good. Yeah, I mean that. That's it's next, I mean, just it's like next game gen hardware. Yeah, yeah. There we go. It's next there we gen go. hardware. You can't have. You can't have a game look that way and try and release it. Like they're trying to release it on the strength alone of the name and the series. It's Halo Infinite. Like we're going to do this. We're going to do that. All right, great. I'm happy. It's Halo Infinite. I'm great that you're releasing another game, but. Let's push the fucking technology a little bit. Let's 
get some grit into this. Let's make it something that it's halo, but it's progressing. It's showcasing the power of the system, not looking at the way it did. Like I watched it on 4K, and to be honest with you, it was bland. It it didn't sell to me, and I've yeah. played. Halo. Yeah. I've enjoyed Halo, but that was like. So really? I mean, I guess the graphics, you guys, that's not going to change in 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 the features that you're going to see of the game. Uh, I'm still looking more forward to the multiplayer aspect, which they haven't even revealed yet. They're going to show more yeah. of that, uh, but mm. that's not going to change your mind in in terms of the graphical fidelity of what you guys saw. I yeah, like gameplay wise, I'm thing. not a Halo player. I'm not a Halo player, so I yeah. don't. I you could probably the wrong person to talk to. Yeah. So looking at it for me was always the standpoint of the textures, the environments, even yeah. the effects. Like if you're yeah. in an alien country, there's no like wind blowing through the trees. There's no and current gen games have that thing. So if you're not doing that on next gen, like what have they been doing? But I mean, you know, like right in the beginning when he literally looked up and he saw the plane going past. And then mm -hmm. zoomed back into the open world. The open world looked really cool. Um, it was a bit of like they didn't, do, they didn't do quite the sort of Breath of the Wild on the you know mountain top and sort of panning yeah. view, but they did angles of it where you got a bit of the feel of the open world. Um, so but I is it going to be truly was, open? That was pretty cool. Um, and you saw the map as well for the first time. The map was actually proper, like three D. It's sort of showing that yeah, yeah, I saw sort of that ground yeah. sort of you know, like I don't know what you call it, but the mission the structure they showed, yeah, they showed the terrain properly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The terrain. So to me, that was really impressive because I think previous times or the games, the maps have always been a bit more still. But I've played, I've played Master Chief Collection with the new, you know, four K patches, and it looks immense. And I think with this game i mean even that grapple thing that he does that spider-man thing is a bit of a new thing um from what i've seen in previous games so i uh, i think that's probably like the main game that i'm looking forward to but like you guys like i i will probably most likely just pick that up for my xbox one x i've got that 4k machine and i'm pretty much happy with it at the moment yeah. um, and i don't really need I don't have the motivation to go out and buy on launch, you know, the Series X. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could, I will buy it eventually, but probably the deal when it gets a lot cheaper, probably like a limited edition comes out. Um, but yeah, let's move on to. Um, it's one fan, isn't it? Hardware wise, it's one fan on the top that calls it all. Yeah. I think that's the one that sucks it out. I don't know if it's anything else. Like it's got like it's a good, it's a good build. It looks cool. Yeah. But the next game they revealed was Forza. After that. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, I like that. It was in game. That's out in twenty twenty two, right? Yeah. It was in game engine though. That was the thing. Yeah, but Bingy did. Bingy did the same, right? GT Gran Turismo, and then they showed the actual gameplay too. <laughs> but this shit's on Gran Turismo. You know what he said about? Well, well, okay, what he said about Forza? Time. He said it was going to be four uh, K sixty, which is yeah. a bit of a disappointment because I was hoping. For a racing game is where they usually push the graphics to the max and i thought because they're touting 8k on this machine apparently and it can do like up to 120 fps i thought they were gonna somehow manage to pull off a 4k May, not to break not to break your heart or interrupt you I'm sorry but they can't do May, that you're not seeing that on this current gen ps5 and xbox series x will not have 8K, 120 frame game. No, no, no. Forget 8K. I'm talking about... Yeah, 8K, 120 is not going to be that easy. No, no, they're not even going to hit... They're not even going to hit 124K, I don't think. You're going to get a solid 60 and at 4K. That's basically going to be the standard. It'll be a solid 60 at 4K. I don't think they'll go over that. All you do is get better looking games that will still stay consistently 4K, 60 you frames. Do, you, you get right, 4K at 60 is... It's a lot. It's, it's, decent. it's decent like if you could keep it at 60 and it doesn't drop from 60 it remains at 60 that's pretty fucking good for a console that you can't upgrade yeah. to say that 60 at 8k is just nuts the hell your meeting will end in 10 minutes Jesus. we started earlier that's why before yeah. uh, <laughs> the, the, when we come back in can you can you like cancel it and jump back in so then we can talk through the 40 uh, we can do, um, but I will probably have to send you the invites again. 
will we'll do it until uh, they, they rejoin. It comes at last. They just rejoin, right? Yes. All right, because these games are short anyway to talk about. But yeah, so Forza, I don't know. I know Forza's a better game than Gran Turismo. It became a better game. Um, but yeah, no, we've just got to wait and see with that. Like, I'm not... Again, it's another game, style of game that I don't really focus on. Forza Motorsport is more of a sim, and the Forza Horizon is more like the slightly arcade version. But... Yeah, that's true. That's true. They are like... Mm, they are, yeah. that's the, Motorsport is like head-to-head with Gran Turismo. So those games are the ones that showcase um, speed, um, like the proper graphics. They, they can push the graphics and the frame rate on those systems for those specific games. It's not my cup of tea, those games, but I'm happy that they can showcase at least um, some element of what they have hardware-wise. That's why I was hoping they would do at least 4K 120 hertz somehow because he was talking about it being almost 8K a system and they can do up to 120 to 240 hertz now not Wait. to say that it's on the same 8k i'm talking about maybe 1080p with 100 hertz which is they can do on xbox 360 some of the games but i'm not talking about it being 8k and 120 fps i'm talking about the two being uh, available and them getting the best out of it so maybe like a 4k and maybe push it above 60 but Obviously, they're not going to do it, but what's the next game on your list? It was State of Decay 3 was the next trailer. We can skim through a few of them. Uh, State of Decay, yeah. is that... The State of Decay 2, was that an exclusive to 360 or something? Yeah, I think, no. both, I think the exclusives were Microsoft State of Decay. Yeah. Yeah. No, I've not played any of them, but... Again, I'm, 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 a, I'm not, well, a, you know, a survival horror type of a game. You know, this is like a... I am, game. but... Yeah. It's zombie I played game is not really my thing. And like Resident Evil is, is, is something different, but yeah. other than that, the other type of zombie type games really doesn't interest me at all. They're going out, those zombie games. To be honest with you, they're on their way out. The fact that State of Decay 3's come out, it's like it's kind of heading out now. Last of Us 2 was probably the last proper one. Yeah, but Last of Us 2 pretty That's much just... is like a crossover game. The focus is more on the humans than the infected. Is that's why I reckon they can keep bringing out Last of Us games because the infected are the afterthought. Yeah, but it's a, it's a done and it's kind of a done and dead genre. I hear, I hear. Let's talk about uh, Rare's Everwild. Everwild um, definitely looks like a definitely looks like a rare type of a banjo style. You know, it's like the next generate next sort of innovation in the in that sort of style because they've gone for more of a um, it's a nice art style that they've gone with. It was visually stunning. I felt that the artwork was the artwork was beautiful. It just looked really nice. Um, but what type of game is that? Is that an RPG or some sort? Yeah, it seems like um, an adventure game, but more in um, it's not as it's not the typical type we want. It's more peaceful, something like Journey or something. You just interact with things like I think what gave it away was like when they communicate with that beast and you get it to pull the tree down, things like that. So it's not, it, it's still not clear exactly what you do in the game, but yeah. visually, yeah, like visually is like they pushed like the cell shaded look to like a right stage. Heavily. Yeah, heavily, heavily, heavily pushed it. They pushed it quite a lot, but to be honest with you, I think that's what that's what made it visually stunning is that they've taken it to that next level and no other game has done that like i've not seen it you've seen shell shading you've seen it done well but you've never seen someone push it to the point that it got to that next level and i think it suits the game as well because like you said it's like you help those creatures use them hmm. so personally i think it really suits it suits the it suits the style of the game and whatever the storyline is going to be it'll be interesting to see there was, Could a be game, a there was a game that looked like that um, in the PS5 showcase. Um, I think it was the Square Enix's um, untitled game. Or yeah, but that was more aggressive. Like that. Yeah, that looked more aggressive though. <laughs> was it that one or was there another one that looked but, You know, um, it's on, this game is on, that was shown in this, um, the PlayStation showcase as well. I'm sure Everwild was shown on that too. Everwild. I'm sure there was like a new game that both. was a new one, a new title, and it looked like that type of cell shaded graphics. Um, I mean, if it's the adventure game, it, it's more interesting to me. Um, RPGs, uh, if it isn't like a 
a proper RPG, then I sort of get a bit more disinterested because um, <laughs> I don't really, you know, deal with that. Just Our territory. Time, yeah, just because of time. <laughs> it's just not really my cup of tea. But if it is more of a, like, a adventure platformer, then yeah. I'm a lot more interested because that looked beautiful. You know, the, the, it looked really nice. And um, it's, it's nice that Ray actually doing something like this. You know, it's been a while. Like, Sea of Thieves was just too fortnite ish graphics for me and it was like <laughs> it wasn't yeah it, does, it just disinterested me straight away because i saw yeah. the graphics it was like fortnite um but this is a lot more i would say the red that i recognize but sort of like a bit more upgraded i'd say definitely what did you what did you think of bad and wonderland bad and wonderland is that the one that um bad and wonderland made by that, uh, made by the creator of Sonic, Sonic Dreams. Yeah, Sonic Nice is a Dream. Yuji Naka, yeah. Yeah, so I didn't know about who it was made by, and then as soon as I found out, um, I watched the trailer again, and then I recognized a lot of the actual um, character models and the two, you know, the boy and the girl. Yeah. The way they yeah. designed it, it reminded me of Nice into Dreams, and that's what I actually quite like about it. But the thing is, they showed that in the pre Xbox showcase like the, yeah. the, the pre-start party so they did that quite quickly and they didn't actually do that in the actual main event so i watched that after i did the event um and i found it yeah it looked really good because it's a platformer so i'm interested in that um it looks very um adventurous very colorful um yeah not like your gritty dark colors you're talking more colorful and that's why it should be nice and dreams is, is like that yeah, yeah, I love nights. Well, then it look like a Switch game to you. It look like a Switch game. A lot of a lot of games that we're seeing in this next gen showcase for Xbox and PS5. There's a bunch of Switch type games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You exactly. can't complain. Huh? That's just how it is now. Indie games are getting the limelight. A lot of them. A lot of two D. Some games. of them look really good. Like some, some of them look like they're not on the Switch. Yeah, I mean. Games that look like that gives me hope that it means that we're going to get a lot more ports to the Switch because Switch is just brilliant. And um, if it gives us an opportunity to play them on the Switch, on the go, um, looking at the, these games in the PS5 showcase and the Xbox showcase, I can see a lot of these games getting ported over eventually, like a couple mm, of years yeah. later. Yeah. So, you know, it, it definitely leaves the window open for that until they get the latest, the, the new iteration of their hardware out. It's interesting though. It's interesting that they're pushing a lot of these indie games. Like Sony did it heavily. It's like they're trying to capture that mark, isn't it? It's trying to like. I think you know what it is as well. Like AAA games now, like especially we're talking about the the tech on PC and console, is to get it to look something that will blow your mind takes like four to five years. Mm. Indie games you can churn out quite quickly, and they can have character, they can have visual fidelity. Because they're on a smaller scale, you can get them out really quickly. So I think it's that whole Netflix thing of can we just keep pumping out content so people can keep buying games? It is. I think I think Nintendo have nailed it. It's just interesting. Like the biggest thing is interesting to see giants like Sony and Xbox kind of going down that route because normally it would have just been AAA titles all the time. Or yeah, yeah, you're right. So I've never played any of those games anyway. Are they good? Which game? Story series. The sequel, um, the first sequel. It looks, series. Yeah, no, it is really good. Um, I'm going to get it eventually. I just haven't bothered picking it up yet because I've just got a huge backlog. So I'm going to work my way through some of the games before I pick that up. What's Avowed? Oh, Avowed is the RPG. That came afterwards. Yeah, that was a, a yeah. new first person a new first person RPG. Yeah, so that was quite good. That was a sneaky little peek into the thing because everyone's like, okay, we, we know what Outer Worlds is. We've seen it. It's a multi plat game. But why are you doing exclusively for Xbox? And then they sort of mentioned that Avowed thing. Yeah. And it was like, okay, yeah. now everyone's interested. Um, again, it's like a Sky, Skyrim type of a game. Not personally my favorite, but I'm glad uh, Xbox. I wouldn't pigeonhole it. I wouldn't pigeonhole it into Skyrim. Skyrim is like very different from any other game. Skyrim is Skyrim, but it has, I wouldn't that, it has a medieval uh, sort of like setting in it. That's why. Yeah, no, sort of like but that can be medieval. Medieval can be in any fantasy world, isn't it? Like Skyrim, it's its own entire freaking universe. Like avowed. I wouldn't pigeonhole it into that. 
Like I would say that it's easy. To yeah, like on face value, you're you're taking a fantasy setting, but I know because yeah. first person as well, you're linking it. But like, yeah, it, it'll be a different beast. It'll be a different yeah, beast. definitely. Um, so Outer Worlds um, DLC, I think, is going to be maybe like a console exclusive for the initial launch, and then it's going to be available on the other platforms as well because yeah. that game yeah. is going to be a multi and they're going to keep it that way. But obviously, this newer game. Um, Avowed, that's going to be um, Microsoft and you know, Windows PC exclusive because they're going to try and hound in on their, you know, on their first party um, studios to start making games for them. Initially, this game was like um, Obsidian was obviously made before they got acquired. That's why they had to sort of contractually oblige to sort of release it where they were going to release it to, which would have been every mm-hmm. platform, which is what they did. But now you're going to start seeing a lot of these games, just like Hellblade, um, the new one, is going to be exclusively yeah. to the Xbox platform as well as... But that was a slap in the face, though. With Hellblade 2, like, we got a short in-game rendered video, the last show, and then they come now, everyone was expecting to see, like, a little bit of level design or behind the scenes, but they just came on and said, we have set this in Iceland, there's going to be a development video of us taking photos in Iceland. Thank you very much. I know what you mean. I mean, don't show they, it. Just don't show when, it. When they first showed, um, what was it called? Senua's Senua's Senua Saga. This time, yeah. Senua Saga. I called yeah. it Hellblade. Is it Hellblade Two? Is wasn't well, it? Right? It is Hellblade Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah Hellblade. It. So Hellblade Two. When they first showed that, I was like floored. Like the graphics that they showed, it was in-game engine, and they showed down the. I think it was when was it? The games. Last year, right? Was it with the console re- uh, reveal? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. The yeah. Game Awards. When they showed that, I was like, "This is next gen. This is pretty much like what I'm expecting to see." It was phenomenal the way they showed her. That's our argument with Halo, Halo, though. But then this That's time our argument round, with Halo. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I see what you mean. This time round, when they should have maximized a bit more on that, which is what Patient did constantly in the yeah. showcase, where just basically went straight to gameplay. Good, good few minutes of gameplay and actual, you know, uh, with the energy bar. They didn't do that. They started talking about where it's been set. They started going over to the people that developed it, have a little conversation. And then I was like, guys, have you not learned from the, <laughs> the, the recent event of what was gameplay? And it wasn't actually. They haven't sort of... I can fill you in on that, though, because what we saw at the Game Awards was... Not a lie. That was in engine. In game, but the game, but the game isn't ready. It's not made. It doesn't have enemy AI. The levels are not made. So basically, them saying we're in Iceland taking photos and now converting it into gameplay, the game is not formed at all. It's gonna be a long time before we see this game, yeah. like fully realized. So it was a mistake to show it today. I think when they showed at the Game Awards, that's cool. Create the hype. But don't bring the game back if you don't have the game. That's just stupid. Yeah. The thing is, right, the, um, what what people are not uh, missing out is that with PlayStation, they definitely moved on a lot further into the games as opposed to Xbox's games because a lot of these games are now starting out. Uh, a lot of the studios were acquired and then they're building new games and they have to show something. And because everyone was complaining about no gameplay in the last showcase mm-hmm. they decided to chuck it in with elements of cutscenes did you see how even halo had that cutscene and then they went Most into the gameplay yeah. Yeah. and then went yeah. back into cutscene a lot of people were complaining about the fact that there was a lot of cutscenes again and it's almost like they chucked in the elements of gameplay with a few of the energy bars just to sort of satisfy the hardcore people that are going to be watching it to say look there is actual gameplay in there but they're only working, I mean, I think that they're only working on very little because they don't actually have a bunch of these uh, games ready to show a demo. And a lot of these games are going to be released maybe two years down the line, if not get delayed even further. So Yeah, three years' time, Xbox will have a great, whatever it is, E3 yeah. or Summer Game Show. That year, when ev- when all the developers are finally like optimised their games, you're mm-hmm. going to have Xbox be like, you know what, we've got two hours of show. And then they'll be doing like really in-depth videos and they'll kill it that year. But the problem is they don't have that now. As you said, they don't have that now. So what are you doing? And on top of that, they don't have um, sort of 
current standing games other than the ones that we know, which is the Halos and the Gears, um, and obviously Fable as well, which was originally on the Xbox as well. Um, they don't have franchises like PlayStation that they can continue to make sequels to straight away. So that's why I feel that there's a disconnect when it comes to actually appreciating the games that are there because they're going to be seen for the first time. You can get excited about them, but you don't have a actual connection to them until you've actually played them and you have a, a you know a, like a liking for a franchise. Like All right, segue to... segue into Fable for that reason. You mentioned Fable, like Fable for me is a game I've never touched in my life. I've known about it because of the artist Joe Majura was originally doing the character designs for it way yeah, back. George Monologues as well. Monologues yeah. Yeah. So like with Fable, all I saw was CG trailer. I'm like, cool. No, all I know from because again, uh, they're like very early in doing their stuff again. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but that's didn't didn't the early didn't yeah. the didn't Fable isn't it known for nose diving as a series? Yeah, the third one, the third one. To be honest, I don't really know. I, 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 it's because of the lead designer. Because of the lead designer, okay. Monolox ran Lion Head Studios, and basically, I think his name is Monolox, but basically, yeah, yeah, Monolox. Yeah. he was a bit of a tyrant. He was a bit of a tyrant with it, from what, if my understanding is correct. And the first one was amazing. The second one was a bit hit and miss. The third one fully pushed everything as it should have, but then it just kind of didn't hit. And I think they're trying to, they, by them bringing it back, fantastic idea. But just to show how much they showed, that wasn't a good idea. Like, you've got people excited for Fable, you've given them a taster, great. But if it's not going to come out and launch, or it's not going to be a launch title, and it's going to be out in a few years' time, then, you know kind of a bit of a a bit of a shitty tease to give to people no, i think they had to do that <laughs> the more and more you guys are saying it the more and more you're correct like a lot of the games that are showcased here in this thing are for an x amount of date ahead like 2000 yeah, two years you're talking about 2023 the earliest 2023 <laughs> yeah yeah it's like it's like how you have to normally wait for PlayStation first party titles when they get announced and then they keep on showing another trailer, but it just keeps on progressing every year until it's been like five years and you're like, well, where the hell is the game? And then it comes out <laughs> and you appreciate it. Yeah. This is what we're where seeing now. Down, so These games are going to be ages, right? Whereas PlayStation actually been cooking this stuff since halfway through the PS4 life cycle because they've been they know that they've got a sequel in the cook you know in the kitchen and they're basically cooking it and they know it's gonna have to pump out a sequel whereas Xbox are now finding their footing back again because they they stumbled so hard with Xbox One that they Yeah but what the help, what's, the, what's your prospects because as well they've been filling this event with filler because you've got Tetris back again but this time it's more multiplayer orientated. Tetris that was quite interesting. I, I, I was yeah. to pick up the original one, but it's good. I played it in VR. VR. I played it in VR, and it was good. It's good. It's not terrible. It's, a, but the it's fact really that good. It's experience. multiplayer. That's interesting to me because I hate the fact that the original one on the PS didn't actually have multiplayer. So isn't like, the Switch one supposed to be amazing for that? Tetris yeah, Switch hasn't got yeah, Tetris effect. They did, no, no, they, but they've got their own. They have got that multiplayer Tetris, which is yeah, intense. Yeah, Tetris ninety nine. That's that. The, yeah. uh, is that the battle royale of Tetris? Yeah, I think this is like the, a mix between both. That's why I think they just imported the the, the whole battle thing. This is gonna be the... like a battle royale type thing. It's interesting, it. but mm. it's not something that's amazing. Obviously, it's just Tetris. I don't know. You're not gonna buy an Xbox Series for Tetris, are you? You're not gonna buy <laughs> Tetris at 120 fucking. <laughs> 20 FPS of fucking 8K, like, fuck me, man, I got Tetris, bruv, look at it. Those bricks exploding, man, that's what you're going to see. Bro, my mind is blown. Fuck Halo Infinite, it's all about Tetris. <laughs> now, then you got, um, there was that not, game. We're not uh, like people, um, like, obviously, we don't, we don't play those games, right? We haven't played Fable. I personally, I think that genre is not really my cup of tea, but I'm happy the fact that they brought back an old franchise that's been forgotten about and they brought it back that's like bringing back a classic like banjo and making a third series or yeah, and true. making a new one true. if they did if they did more of that there will be proper hype for xbox in the sense where you see um you see with like sony and nintendo but yeah. they don't seem to 
capitalize on their actual uh, studios that they have and their legacy. But there's digital. rumors. There's rumors they bought. They're buying out Warner Brothers, right? So then that technically means Batman will be theirs. The Batman series. They can make like new Batman games that will be big, big deal. Yeah, I, like I don't, think, I don't think that rumor is gonna. That, that, that's just way too much investment for. And they oh man, they need that. They, they need it though. They won't fully own that. Oh, yeah, they should just buy they EA, have the man. marketing rights, and they can actually produce some games. But it's a bit more confusing. They don't actually outright own Batman in that sense, but they definitely have some element of Batman current gen games to do. But that's a huge rumor, which I don't even bother contemplating until yeah, something no, never, happens. Never, 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 some um, surface, some surface. But I mean, they've got rare. They've got. They've got a studio that actually has proper nostalgic classics on the Nintendo, which they can capitalize on. It is of Steam World. It's called Gun. Right at the end, the goo one. Gun. Yeah, 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 that was that was the yeah. show that of. That was a game that was in gameplay. Yeah. I suppose you could show that off as gameplay because the thing is, like you said earlier, it's an indie game. It's going to be quite yeah. small, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So it's easier to show that off. Favorite game: Crossfire X. Oh fucking hell! Fucking <laughs> fire! Terrible, <laughs> That's the only game that looked like a another first person shooter. The rest of them weren't really other than Halo. I was looking for yeah, more. It, it looked games. impressive, but it was all CGI. Like it was no gameplay. <laughs> Three narrative games they dropped. One was Tell Me Why. Dusk. Dusk. Uh... Dusk Falls. What is that? Yeah, Dusk Falls is made by. She. She used to work on. The David Cage games, you know, um, Heavy Rain, Beyond yeah. Two Souls. She used to work for them, for that company. So she's got her own gaming company now, and that's their first game. Mm. I don't want to, sh but to be honest with you, I don't remember it. Didn't like it. Do you know what it looked like? It looked like a game that was made by a focus group. They turned around and said, "We want a black character. We want story. We want it to be like set maybe in the modern times." There's the gun laws in there. Like, it, it just looks like it ticks boxes. Like, it doesn't look like that. Was that the one that was like like a novel story? Um, yeah. Made yeah. 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 Actually, I quite like that one. Um, not really because the game that I would personally play, but again, I like the fact that it's a variety. I, I'm always for variety. Um, it's good that a platform has different styles of games, and I've not really yeah. seen a game like that in a long time. And what was interesting though, they only had the label for Series X and PC. It never is not downgrading. It's only got those two consoles in mind. Yeah. Um, I think oh, allegedly. They mentioned that they've got five Series X games exclusives and the rest were yeah. like from the family. So, oh, there was the other one we missed. One. Um, medium. The Medium, sorry. The Medium. The Medium? It was the oh, horror game. Oh, oh. It was the horror game where you play as a woman and she, you got two dimensions at once simultaneously. Yeah, well, what's that about? Why would you want to play in two dimensions? It's basically, a Resident, it's like a Res imagine a Resident Evil style game or Silent Hill more, more akin to Silent Hill, but you could no. be in two states. It's basically, that is Silent Hill, isn't it? It's Silent Hill, you had... No, you had <laughs> no, but in Silent Hill, you had that other dimension they forced you to go in at times. This is having the option to go into both, but it's the same principle, no? Yeah, but the thing is, it looked like a PS2 game as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. And I was like, come on, man. Like, seriously, what are you doing to me? It's like, I wasn't impressed with the graphics. If you do a proper horror game and make it look like a next gen, then I'd be scared and I'd be interested. But it wasn't doing it at all. Um, they keep doing that type of stuff where they show games. Like, that's not really even an indie game, is it? So there's no reason oh, yeah, for them yeah, to have yeah. that type of graphics. They should definitely go higher. I feel like, oh man, it's like when Nintendo did their um, indies and they promote this indie thing, a lot of these other companies have taken that on board and thought, hmm, let's get a piece of this pie. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to get a pie for console yeah. to play an indie game. I could do that on my Switch, not a problem. I don't need, to, <laughs> I don't need to Steam World or any other like two bit style remake games on a PS5, a PS4. I just don't, I just flat out don't bother buying it on those systems because it's like, why? If I need to buy, I could buy on Steam or I could buy on my Yeah, Switch. but you, you you do realize something that like with the PS like PS5 and the Xbox, you're gonna see so many fucking 
remasters come out? Like no, not with not with Xbox anymore. They they're doing that whole smart delivery where whatever game you buy, it gets automatically upgraded to the latest version. PlayStation, because of their weird backwards compatibility issues, they've done this whole remaster jig where they've just remastered it. Yeah, they, they kind of game on the PS4, well. and they make you buy it again, and Hassan buys it again. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is... I'm the down, thing. I'm down. I'm sorry, I'm down. No, if, it's, if their games are genuinely loved, I don't mind having them looking better later because I'm not going to plug in my old console. Sorry, I'm not that guy. Like, I'll go far as back as, like, my Dreamcast is beloved because it's got beat em ups that I love on it. I'm not going to play again. But, like, yeah. say PS2, right? I've got a chipped PS2 slimline. I've not put that in for years. I love Final Fantasy XII. I've got the American version. I've always needed to finish the game. The fact that when they announced that they're remastering it and it's going to be on fucking PS4, I was jumping backwards. I was thinking, yes, yeah. this is me. Like, that's my point. Like, if you can play it looking better on a newer machine, taking advantage of the new looks, why not? But if it's not hurting that's, anybody. That's, that's, no, that's definitely a strength that Xbox has provided now because of, of how they messed up on the Xbox One to compete. They did this fan service where now they are legendarily bringing back old titles on the new, like you know, games. Oh, like but you can put your old discs in, right? You, can you don't have to buy the game again, it. right? You can actually, you know, that digital games that are bought on the Xbox 360, like, uh, yeah. you know, wow. um, uh, what's that, Capcom and a Puzzle Fire to yeah. Turbo, that just downloaded automatically. I, I basically found it on the Xbox One, and then I, I it was like download already because you already owned it and i was like this is pretty sick the fact that it registers yeah, your it's pre-purchased yeah, games and it just brings it over so i think xbox are championing that and that's something that's brilliant i would love playstation to actually bring back compatibility from one all the way up to five sorry all the way one all the way up to three on their ps5 that is they where i stumble be. And they make you buy new games, which is annoying. No, I see why it, you're buying it. There's no problem with that because, yeah, I don't plug in my PS3 to play my games, you know, and it's annoying. I just wish that they did that backwards compatibility jig. Where I could yeah, but you have, to under, you have to understand something, yeah. right? With, with Microsoft, it's easy for them to do it because the first Xbox was a PC and it's always been PC architecture from the Xbox up until now. Whereas with Sony, the PlayStation 4 was the first one with PC architecture. Everything else has been an actual console. The other thing is that Sony, Sony know that if you want to play games from um, basically the old, the old ones, they can make you pay for that with a separate service. So they have, they have that separate service on there where you could go back and play games. So... Oh, but now, definitely now, Sony are yeah. making money on obviously being the top dogs at the moment. They can sell the games. They can make you buy their service to play the old games. Um, and yeah, but the, free compatibility. Yeah, but let me let me give you that's fine. Because let me give you perspective again, are though. Dogs right now, but don't get it twisted. It's not consumer friendly. You know, they are mm. essentially it's not. Yeah, it's not. Buy it's not. a game that oh, yeah. you probably own. Like you have that disc at home, right? The PS2 game. You would want to pop it in. You can't. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I true. Started doing yeah. it, I started collating my Xbox original games and my 360 games that are backwards compatible, and I labeled them up with a little sticker. And it's phenomenal the amount of games that are compatible on the 360 or my original Xbox titles. It's like a huge stack, and a lot of those games are now compatible. 360 games is a huge stack that's compatible on the Xbox One. And I've, I've updated my library to so that these are games I'm actually gonna start playing again because it's just convenient and it's and they up res it, they do some higher textures. It's just brilliant to to play these older games on my Xbox One, and they will all. Yeah, it's a shame that Sony don't do that. Uh, yeah, Sony will have to emulate it like the Wii U did with the Wii. Like you'll have to go into a mode, and then you can put your disc in. But they should have done that on the PS4. They had the power to do that on the PS4. Yeah, yeah. as you say, they're not. They're not. As Max says, they're not. They're not for the consumers, really. They're not really pushing that because it. it yeah, it costs money. You know, they don't have infinite money like Microsoft does. Yeah, and yeah. they're top dogs. 
So people are looking to buy a Sony product more over Xbox. So they don't necessarily need to bend over backwards for back old gen because technically not many people actually play it. It is a, definitely a promotional thing to sell the new system. That's so but stupid. they don't need that. Xbox does. That's yeah. what they're doing here. Don't get it twisted. Not many people actually play Yeah, that's true. That's true. Sony should always look forward. Sony should always look forward, I believe. I don't believe Sony should. Like, they should have the fan service there, but then they're detracting from the fact that they're new titles. But Mac, like, going through all of that again, and then you realising now that these games have to look next-gen. Overall, I said, like, quickly. now we've talked about all these games, and you said, like, even with the medium, it looks like a PS2 game. This is serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is Series X. So, do you get what we mean about like Halo and all the others? They just need to have that spark for people to be like, "I'm putting my money down for that console." November. Yeah. I think with I the Halo thing, I will disagree. That I think that looks phenomenal. I, I I'm really excited for Halo. That's probably like my main game that I'm excited for. <laughs> when you say it's phenomenal, are you saying that are you is saying literally it? the showcase? And that no, alone no, 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 is not no. enough. No, we but are you back, back. phenomenal because it's Halo and because you know that the gameplay is going to be phenomenal? Or are you saying it's phenomenal because you genuinely think from a design and graphical standpoint, it looks yeah. amazing? It looks really good, yeah. I can side by side with many first person shooters that look way better right now. Yeah. Yeah. Does yeah, it visually, X, um, Halo Infinite does look a lot better than a bunch of current uh, next-gen games that I've seen. So it does look a lot better than a lot of the games that I've seen. What? Okay. What? They no. Do. no, it doesn't. It we've, seen a lot of, we've seen a lot of games on Sony Showcase as well as this um, Xbox's Showcase that look like current gen, if not... Yeah, but visually, visually, Ratchet and Clank, they're I'm better sorry. games. I'm sorry, I don't know what you NBA, guys are NBA, the NBA, if you're going to say that Halo Infinite looks better than the NBA game, yeah, you are smoking crack, bro. Yeah, like, look at the yeah. first game you mentioned. The I first game you mentioned. The first game you mentioned was Ratchet and Clank. The lasers on Ratchet and Clank, the shiny metal... Everything looked more next gen than Halo Infinite. Like yeah, just a visual. I think, I think you need to watch. Better. No, you need to watch it again. You need to watch it again on 4K. But I'm not saying Halo's gameplay. Game. Halo's gameplay could be phenomenal. I know it is because it's got the massive fan base. But visually, as it's someone who does 3D art, that that looks terrible. Like even like, the the monster models when they turned the monster from hologram to character model, that did not look next gen. Have you guys played Halo before? Any of you guys? Yeah, I've played Halo 1 and 2. I've only watched Dave I've played 1, 2, bits of 3. Has to be honest, you played a Halo game? I've only watched Dave play it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> so you don't know, man. You don't know. I, mean, the thing, the, the, I think the thing is, no one's arguing about the gameplay. No one's arguing about the storyline. What we're arguing about is, is that this is your push for next gen. And yet it looks cat. Too. Played yeah, yeah, played Dishonored. Yeah, Dishonored two pisses on it visually as well. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't played that one. You know that? Um, look, look at the no, no, no. Look at the game again and look you know, how you know you... that game that um, that Diablo remake that they showed on PS Five uh, showcase. The Diablo or the original one remake. Remember, I mentioned it. Um, oh, you mean Dark Souls? Demon Souls. Demon Souls. The Demon Souls remake. Yeah, that's the one on yeah. background. Background yeah. image. So that when they showed that game, I was like, "That's the next gen game." Then you got other yeah, games I mean. that are like, you know, like God Eater. Was it God Eater? Which was. They look terrible. Yeah. Look terrible. Now Halo is not looking worse than God Eater, is it? <laughs> no, no, no. That's that's, that's not all what I'm trying to say. Like, it looks. Uh, yeah, you're right. Looks you're right. It's not better. Sense. Let's not right, show it completely because Halo does but, look sick. We not, we're not, no, but I mentioned that it's not though. like Halo. Halo is did, oh, I did mention that. No, no. Halo is my. It doesn't look next gen. Yeah. The problem is, it just doesn't look next gen. It doesn't look like this progression happened. That's the problem with it. For fuck's sake, if Destiny looks better than your premium game. And Destiny is on multi platforms, and that looks better than your fucking titular game that you're putting out. 
there is something fucking going wrong somewhere. This this is- is- you can't argue that. You can't say that. Like, hey, it was, looks inc- infinite wow, it's my mind. It was. It was mind blowing. Destiny, we've played a lot of it, and yeah, what they showed was actual action in it. I like the fact that the way they, um, you know, the way in, in Halo they were shooting the enemies and it was like pounding them onto the floor and smoke was coming off that. I think that looked great. I wish they showed more of the environment. I wish they did more of the l- larger you know, landscape views, which I would have seen more of the graphics. Okay, Mac, to add, when I looked at the details for the Rare game, Everwild, they're saying that it's set in the wilderness and it's basically the tag is Breath of the the Wild meets Monster Hunter. Very interesting. Nah, if it, if this is Monster Hunter, that, then it's not going to be. Yeah, so maybe you're getting like, because remember in too the much, video. Too you're much grinding, going, too much leveling <laughs> up. No, no, not in, that, not in that sense. I think the, the, the fact <laughs> of having big creatures, I think it's the big creatures thing. Oh. What have you got against grinding? Okay. okay. <laughs> he's, he's, yeah, he's got a big problem with it's grinding. Just, it's, not for me. it's just not for me, bro. That's all it is. Um, <laughs> if you can play it, all power to you, innit? It? Um, it's just not for me. Guys, um, let's um, start uh, wrapping this up. Um, thoughts on the, the entire the showcase. Showcase. showcase yeah. That's the word. The entire showcase. Should we make some comparisons, or, or should we? I think it was, should we for Xbox. I think it's disappointing. I think for a console that they're trying to sell to go against the PS Five, something that's meant to be a power horse, something that's meant to have the latest tech, it's meant to push it. Uh, the first one was absolutely disappointing because it was just fucking a showcase trailers. This added, it, added, it added a bit more layer to that. It's like I was in a similar case as what Hassan said earlier on in the video. That basically you wanted Xbox to do good. You wanted the underdog to come out, hit some punches and make that interesting. But the problem is the more and more you think about it and the more and more you go over it, the more and more it becomes disappointing because it's like, yes, they are releasing a console, but there's nothing on it that stands out enough to make me say, you know what, man, I want to go about out and buy an Xbox One. Uh, I want to buy an Xbox Series X. I have a PC. I can play all of those games on PC if I wanted to. I have no need whatsoever to go and buy Xbox Series X. I will only buy a PS5 because of the exclusives, because PS5 has games that may never come to PC. Mm. Uh, that, like, my personal standpoint is that I wish they had just got something and ragged it through and shown the power of it properly, but I don't feel as they did. So, And also didn't show any of the UI of how the console UI looks like, whereas Thing did. So only showed a bit of the UI. <laughs> no, 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 no. Xbox, just, they, Xbox they show any of them. I mean, that's about it. And I think um, Xbox would show that, and so will Sony. Just give it a bit more time. They got a few more. Sony times. did. Sony did show the UI, though. Sony showed the UI. Even so. Just the teaser, just the beginning. Yeah, but that was interesting. Even if it's a teaser, it's still something like you could have shown a little bit of the UI. Like just a Xbox's sneak. UI has already been leaked. You saw the revamped look of it. It looks more like a Galaxy S, a bit more like my background. It's got that nice effect, different dark colors. If you have a look at it, it's been leaked. So they're going to just give it a nice, good facelift, which I'm looking forward to. But it's not mm-hmm. going to drastically change, you know. Um, and I, I quite like the way the menu system navigation works anyway. It, I'm looking forward to the facelift. Um, yeah, I mean, anything else you want to add to that or to? No, that's pretty much my like. I don't have anything else. I, was, I um, yeah, for me, it wasn't. It wasn't as good as what Sony blasted yeah. out, and that's not me being biased or nothing. I just think that Sony really went into it heavy with the games that they're doing. I think Xbox just missed another opportunity. Okay, okay. Hassan, your thoughts? Same questions. Talking to you guys. I raised my status to it. It's about like a five out of ten overall. Like it's clear that they're trying to make the Game Pass ecosystem work. That's what's hampering the games from blowing me away. Nothing that makes me want to buy it. Like if I've bumped up my PC, why can't I just play those games on my PC? Or Xbox One, if I've got an Xbox One. Because Halo looks the same. Like I can play just play it on that. Um 
as far as their future, as I said, like when it hits 2023, they could blow us away. Like you could have all these games that are just full stop, not ready from all the studios they bought. And they could just roll it up and come for Sony then. But then at the same time, Sony's doing the same. So what position are you going to be over Sony? Because next year they've got Res 8. They've got... We already have Spider-Man by then. Yeah, but Res 8 is a multi-platform game. <laughs> yeah, but you yeah, get no, it. But that gap, the gap is too long, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, yeah, but that I would gap... rather get it on a PS5 because there's other PS5s. exclusivity for like a year or something. With yeah, that game. Like, like, um, like, like Final Fantasy did. Final Fantasy Remake had a year on the console, obviously on PlayStation. We don't officially know if it's coming out yet, but most likely that is the case. After a year, it's going to come out on the Xbox. But oh, they said that from the start. They said that from the start. It was a year exclusivity. They've said mm. it. They've announced it. Yeah, yeah. Look it up. Um, it was a, it was a year exclusivity because so Square Enix want to release on everything. They're not really. Yeah, gonna make it exclusive. But. Plus, this is one yeah, thing like, that you that's interesting. Like, if you're saying that in 2023 they're gonna play catch up, I don't think. I think by 2023, their numbers are. If they don't release stuff next year that's decent, and the year after that, if they don't release some decent titles next year, and Sony managed to successfully win the launch battle and then progress, their numbers are going to dwindle. And that's going to cause them a lot of fucking problems. So, yeah, because Sony have got what? They've got Pragmata coming in 2022, the yeah. new Capcom game. So they have they have things in a pipeline that are they're going to have a big release every year or two at least. That's Sony's way. So Xbox needed to do the same. They needed to have a game that was just even like if it was multi-platform, like Sony did. Like Elden Ring is being made by From Software. If yeah. Microsoft today showed off Elden Ring and said you can get this on a Series X, your brain would be like, okay, this game looks sick and I'll buy an Xbox, I'll play it on that. But they didn't have any they didn't have any hooks for me apart from whatever well, Wild is on PS5 too. So mm -hmm. Forza. Well, me, Forza if Forza, if Forza was gonna come out, I'd take it. If Forza was gonna come out, I'd jump on that. But then again, Forza is gonna be on PC. So what's the point of jumping on it on a console? No, but okay. Oh, yeah. Come on, come on. Oh. Let me give you my oh, thoughts. But uh, first of all, just to touch on the fact, a lot of the gripes that you guys have is about it being available on the PC. I mean, that should be a good thing because, as far as I know, you don't have any consoles. So for you, it's good that it's coming on the PC. And, yeah, I do. I've and uh, Nintendo. And if you never buy an Xbox, you could just download the app and play it. So the fact that Xbox is going into this service model and that's what they're pushing and they're going to try and get, sell their games as much as they can on any platform, on any sort of service and on Game Pass rather than it being stuck to a box. It's a bit of a tricky change, but I think it's a, inevitably is a good change. But it hampers, it hampers them. That's my argument. It hampers them because Sony I having forcing it because they yeah, because Sony to... forced exclusives, which is why these devs end up pushing games artistically and visually that separate it from the Xbox. That's only at the moment with a few of the first with the first party titles because Xbox have to. Make it which is more than one title, games. which is more than five titles, like on the no, that's currently on the on the for the next couple of years. But to me, um, a lot of PlayStation games are gonna be sort of on the same bandwagon. Everyone's gonna be sort of learning the hardware, and they're gonna be producing games that pretty much look brilliant, but brilliant for a PS4 game. Not necessarily the next gen. No, but the problem we have now is the problem we have now is like yes. Unreal Engine Five. It's not going to look like. No, nah, but, but, yes. nah, but this is this is where this is where the worm turns because the PS Five architecture is closer to PC now, so dev time will be cut. Unreal Engine yeah. Five. Unreal Engine Five comes out halfway through next year, so Unreal Engine Five will allow more artistic skills. Like you can download models at higher fidelity. The problem with that is, and you can do interactive lighting. So once that's available, games will come out faster, and you'll get the let's game. Be, let's be real. You're not going to be seeing Unreal Engine Five games anytime soon. 
Um, that's oh, yeah, no, saying saying that. 2023, of course. Yeah. What my point is, games will come out faster yeah. once that is so, available. It'll so cut development time. In the next couple of years, by the time those two years have rolled out and they're going to drop original Xbox One games and they're going to only exclusively make games for the next gen, which is Series X, by that stage, a lot of the games that have been in development and they haven't been released yet or haven't been announced yet, they're going to get announced in the next year or so and they're going to come out exclusively for the Xbox Series X. And then at that stage, you're going to start seeing drastically different sort of graphical fidelity, I think. I think you're going to start seeing a lot more of the beast that the hard Yeah, but as, as, as a showcase, yeah. it failed. And at the same time, Sony will get more numbers by then. In the next two yeah. years, yeah. we'll have so much numbers. We'll be in the same race we had with the PS4. It's going to be the same battle where they're just going to be chasing. You're not going to be able to overhaul them. You're talking about the ecosystem and you've just clearly stated that they're trying to push the ecosystem a lot more. What impertius does it give you to go out and buy a console that's locked at a certain percentage and you can't upgrade when you can buy a PC and you can play those games constantly? Like, it doesn't give me confidence. Like, why would I want to buy a console if the ecosystem is designed to allow me to play games on PC? I'm going to be buying into the thing. Like, that, that hardware is your sale. You're selling a hardware for 600 or how much ever it is there's a sale to be there. You want to shift, you want your hardware to be in people's living rooms. It's yet to be seen if this model that Xbox is taking is going to succeed or not, because... Well, as they, I said to you before, it's a fact that they made. There's 10 million subscribers to the Game Pass, and you can do the maths. That's fifteen ninety nine for the ultimate tier. Mm. And if it's 10 million people, that's a lot of money a month coming into Microsoft, which is pushing their decisions to make everything go across the ecosystem as opposed to the standout one console. Games. That is, to me, that is like the Netflix of gaming, what they've done with Game Pass Ultimate, which is including um, xCloud now. It's been announced. Yeah, all the new stuff. It's all the new stuff, be yeah. that Xbox Live is brilliant for like the casual gamer. Um, it's brilliant for anyone that wants to get into it. I personally not I'm not a fan of subscription based, but I can see where they're going with that, and it's a lot more of a better sell compared to like something like Google Stadia, where they make you buy the game even though it's <laughs> yeah service. yeah Google Stadia they got a lot turn right, and Amazon are gonna do their thing you know um, but they what they're doing is I think it's a way to push gaming forward to the masses, and in turn you might see that becoming like a crazy subscription base that's going to overturn anything that's locked to someone buying a specific system for... Sony might copy them. Sony might even copy them, yeah. I oh, mean, they, they only are doing their own thing, but it's in no way as large as Xbox is because they've got Sony... Yeah. Um, what's that service? Sony PlayStation Now? Oh. Yeah, now, now it's all the old PS2, PS3 now games. is yeah. their service that they're doing, but no way is that going to be like games that are coming out on launch are going to be dropped day one you know they they really yeah no they make, make too much money they make too much to money off those yeah. games. Yeah. now this is their model they, they're doing the traditional model sony and they've gone with the traditional route of here's the cutoff point here's the next one make games for this one chuck the other one away sort of like a model i know that they've got backwards compatibility with the ps4 because they have to because there's 100 mil sold but they're doing that model. Xbox are doing a service model. So where people have a gripe of it being available everywhere, it's not really exclusive. I don't have a problem with that because to me, I, I enjoy a console to have its exclusives, but if it allows me to play it on a on my laptop, on my Windows, and I could I could play the same game like I can with like X uh, Gears of War uh, 5 and 4, I, pl I buy it once and then I could install it on my PC and on my Xbox. That's nice. I could take off, comp I could I could start a game file, pause it or shut it down and then launch it at someone else's house on the PC and I can basically carry on where I left off. That is brilliant. And when you include that into xCloud and you could put it onto your phone, I think that's phenomenal what they're doing with that. I think cloud gaming is the future. There's no point denying it. And I think where they're taking it is good for the industry. Um, I just want them to have more 
titles that I care about other than Gears and fun, um, what's that, Gears yeah, and Halo. Yeah, so I just want them to have more titles like I can say with Sony where I like Horizon, you know, God of War, Ratchet and Clank, Last of Us. You know, it's like there's so many titles. I've got, the like, thing is, the arguments I want, I've got about nearly 30 games on my PS4. Yeah. And, yeah, and only like two of them are remasters on disc. Yeah, and, yeah, like it's one of those things where like it's it depends on your taste. My taste usually tends more to the Japanese RPG sort of thing. So Sony cater to my kind of gamer. But what Xbox would have pulled me away with is if, if I'm buying a console like Series X, I always, as a game artist, want to see visual pushes, stylistic pushes. Like Everworld got our attention, but something I would want a Halo to come along and me to be like, shit, like, I'm not going to get a game like that on my PS5. I, yeah. This is where Xbox oh. have made strive to push the game further with the One X and having this whole new powerhouse because they tried to push games in a new direction, whereas I think at the time PS4 was holding back certain games like Destiny originally was stuck at. 30 fps where yeah, PC was 60, adult, but, yeah. and xbox they could have done 60 but i think they were locked to 30 purely because of the limitation of ps4's hardware at the time so you can see how consoles can limit and don't don't be fooled don't think that because xbox are providing compa- compatibility across the across the board they're not going to eventually move on to the next gen exclusively and then those games are going to look phenomenal exclusively but also the games that are being developed and they're slightly watered down they do have that badge of you know xbox series x optimized which is yeah it's a marketing tool but whenever i see xbox one x enhanced on top of a game i'm like hey that's way better than the ps4 version so to me i i've been buying all of my multiplayer games on the xbox hands down because i can enjoy it at the the best it can be but yeah i know sony <laughs> has so many exclusives and i'm and, and i have to go to that console for that and i have to buy the new box for that but yeah but i said, but I said like my argument is that if they're gonna juggling right now right Do we I, think, to I, think, mentality no, no, I think sony will change it mentality? because eventually the service is going to have exclusive xbox series x games and it's going to be a powerhouse and it's going to have a, a library of 360, a library of original Xbox, a library of Xbox One. It's just getting bigger and bigger. That's, not, that's Yeah, not but like, think about consoles. Think about consoles and ga- games in particular. I would say a game like Last of Us 2, even playing through it, I've never seen a game more visually impressive in a long, long time. Like, that's nothing's out. There's going to be a patch to upgrade the textures, to unlock the frame rate. That's going to push that game even more to a certain fidelity level and get people that maybe missed it on the P4 to play it on a P5. There's no game on Xbox's library right now that looks as good as Last of Us 2. No, and X- Xbox lacks that. That's the yeah. biggest problem. Also, what you were saying what that, he, uh, what Mark said is correct. It lacks. You're, you're la- okay to wait. Oh. You're okay to buy Resident Evil straight away. I'm okay to wait personally. To me, when I saw when I saw Resident Evil, I was like, "Cool, I'll buy that on the Xbox." To me, third party <laughs> games, I know guaranteed they're gonna be on both platforms. To me, that doesn't sway me. To me, it's the exclusives. And when it comes to Xbox, it's, it's PC and Xbox exclusives. I get that. It's it was Sony. Lot. That uh... is to me is an exclusive, and they don't have enough. Yeah, yeah, but these are like the in-game jokes. Obsidian, Obsidian put a trailer for a game we missed, which was the little kitty game where you know that everything is small. Fuck the little insect village. But when they opened up that trailer, they were like, "The biggest game this year is going to be Cyberpunk." Now, if I'm a true gamer, I would want a top PC because Cyberpunk is going to look phenomenal on a top PC. That, that game is going to look insane. Look <laughs> but this is the catch, like, the, both consoles are going to be blown out of water by the PC with that game in particular. No matter what you say, the PC for that game will blow away everything. Yeah, but, that, but PC, yeah, but PC has a that, market where that level hard, I prefer man. simplicity. Yeah, yeah console, I prefer playing on console anyway, but I would, buy on a, I would buy on a PlayStation 5 because 
so far what I'm sold on. We don't know about practice. The PS5's SSD is supposed to be that phenomenal that I'm not going to get pop up and I'm going to get a smooth world experience with fucking no loading whatsoever. Uh, I watched the Xbox video, I watched the video on the SS, SSD. That's not gonna, yeah, that's a bit. Oh no, a it'll revolution. No, it'll be. A, it's a bigger deal than you think it is. It's, it's a, a bigger deal than you think. think it is. I think. No, man, it's massive. No, it's a bigger. It's, deal not, it's, it's not a market. It's not a marketing thing. From a technical point of view, what they're about to do is going to revolutionize console loading times and that experience. And if Xbox, for everything that they've got, cannot match that it's going to be disruptive. The fact that you can load a game in 0.5 seconds, I think it is, from 15, is a feat in its own self. You have to understand that. Like, yeah, they're thinking about virtually eliminating loading times. The yeah, but like before, the, the, the I remember... Bottleneck, the bottleneck comes from the, the actual CPU, right? And that's always where it lies at. Now, I think Xbox does have the more powerful one, right? So yeah, but they, power's not they, everything. They can, over, they can but, override that. I mean, no, 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 no. no, no. But what you're mistaken is when Mike Cerny did his big talk. Because I remember loved it initially. Was like, Put this is bullshit. Yeah. But then when you watch when you watch the Cerny talk, that was really boring. I agree, it's boring. But the games games designed around that SSD will allow game worlds to be way more smoother and less bloat. Like the typical things we get in games that are loading. Hiding loading will not yeah. exist if, if companies use it, and that's PlayStation's edge if it's used. So let's let's give um, Sony's and um, Xbox's showcase the two main ones. Let's give them a score out of ten. Okay, so Sony, no. Sony for me gets a six, and Xbox is a five. Sony gets a six. It wasn't as impressive. I only liked Spider Man and Little Devil Inside. All the rest of the games are too far in the future and they might change by the time the final game comes out. Mm. So yeah, I, don't, that's true. I don't think it was that much more impressive than Xbox's. But the future did look bright from stuff. Well, a lot of stuff was even from Square Enix. That game was in engine. Like it wasn't actual mm. final game footage. It was a lot of wishes to those two games. That's why I said that. But yeah, that's. Object- I think. I think objectively, looking at both both of these showcases and saying which one is like scores out of ten, I think I'd be same similar level as you. I can't give it a higher. I could, I'd say Sony edges it by one. So Sony, I would give six out of ten. This one, I would give probably a four point five or even a four out of ten. It just, oh, it just it wasn't. It wasn't. I, they turned up, but the thing is, you can't show games games that are so far in the future that you may never like. You know, the console's coming out this year, but you're not going to be able to get hold of them until 2023. So, so five out of ten for me for Xbox, but it's a six out of ten for Sony. Six out of ten for Sony, and five out of ten. And you're Hassan, you're giving um, Sony six, six, and yeah. Xbox. I'll give a five. Five. Okay. Same. Yeah. Um, I would give Sony. I, w- I would give Xbox. I'd give Xbox probably like a six point five, maybe a seven. Six. Okay. Probably like a six, and I'll give Sony close to an eight. <laughs> so I actually got proper sold on it, or Sony when I saw their showcase. I was like. That's something I feel like picking up on day one. That's how much it all sold me. Um, and because I already own an Xbox One X, to me, there's no need for me to go out and spend another 500 bucks, which I already just spent a couple of years ago. To me, I like the fact that I can play the next-gen Xbox titles on my Xbox One X. So to me, I could, I'm could i happy to, to stick with that for now and maybe in about a couple of years' time buy it for like £300 when it goes down, yeah. it goes down, right? So that's fine by me. Um, the reason why the showcases I've given Sony such a higher score compared to Xbox is because on memory, from we need to look back at the two conferences, in my mind, I can still only think of Halo um, and Fable. Fable because it's like that whole rare vibe even though it's not really a game that I'm looking 
to play but i know it's one of those nostalgia titles and i wish they brought back conquer donkey kong not donkey kong um Game Boy is an RPG, Magic, by the way. So games that we recognize, it. right? More games, and then obviously have new titles that are more of a franchise that I can then depend on. But Sony definitely had the franchises, and they brought them with, you know, sequels and new versions of them. And to me, that's that resonates oh. more in my mind, oh. and is more of a reason yeah. of a push to buy the newer one because my PS4 is the original fat PS4. I never bothered buying the Pro version. So I'm looking forward to the next leap because that's going to be a big jump. Whereas if I buy the new Xbox compared to the One X, is, is there really a need for me to buy the next one? Yes, if I was upgrading from a 360. Yes, if I was upgrading from a VCR model, Xbox One. From Xbox One X, nah, that can do 4K natively apparently. So I'm okay with maybe waiting on that one and then buying the new one but at least get to play the titles PlayStation, i can't play the titles which is a bummer but at the same time my hardware i played like the last of us one recently clocked it phenomenal game but my ps4 was about to take off <laughs> you should play too that it's even louder was bloody oh my god <laughs> my room heated up that's how hot it got from all the blow oh, heat was blowing yeah. out so i'm looking forward to the upgrade i'm looking forward to a quieter fan i'm looking forward to it being native 4k not that checkerboarding crap and i'm looking forward to the titles taking advantage of that um so that's why i give sony a higher mark i give sony a seven to eight seven to eight and i give we will wrap this up a six uh -huh. a six to a six point five to a seven the titles uh -huh. Anyway, guys, thanks a lot for coming. I know it's a late one, and I'll try and edit okay, this no, up no. and then bring it up. I appreciate it. Oh, we'll definitely do take something easy, like this. But yeah, yeah, look out for the video. All right. Safe. Have a good evening, guys. Take it no easy, problem. guys. Okay. Have a good one.